Greetings everyone, welcome to Wizardry, Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. This is my first time playing this game. Uh, I have not played the original, I do have some knowledge of Wizardry, but let's get into it. New game. Select a slot to create a new game. Name for your adventure. Uh, scenario A. There we go. This remake contains new options to improve player quality of life. Do you wish to play with these options? These options can be configured later in the old school options menu. So yeah, I do think I will be playing with the new options. Um, so let's turn them on, but then go right into the configuration mode. Would you like to begin the game with the starter party of level 2 characters to crew or create all your own characters? So I knew this question was coming up and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the starter party, try to kind of get my bearings, understand, trying to get to know, learn the game a little and then create a party later on. Because I think you can create level one characters uh, basically forever, as many as you want. So I think I'll just get started like this. Visit the training grounds to make your own characters, or edit existing ones to your liking. Oh, there we go. All new characters start with basic armor and weapon already equipped. Visit Gilgamesh's uh, tavern. So I'm going to try to play with just a keyboard, see how far we get. Because it supposedly it should be possible, because this, this one is built on the original version. So no reason why you should ever need the mouse, really. Visit Gilgamesh's tavern to add, remove, or reconfigure members. Enter the maze to start. This game can be un unforgiving. Build your party steadily. Return often to town to rest and level them up. Or buy new equipment. It is important to know that party members will die. You can resurrect them at the Temple of Kant. But sometimes it can be best to just start fresh, especially for inconvenient, inexperienced characters. After all, new adventurers are coming to town all the time. Right, here we are. We can just pick something. Mm. Manage the party at the tavern. Visit the inn. Visit the training grounds. Enter the maze. Visit the temple. Visit the store. Let's go to the menu first. Let's have a look. Game options. I already had a look at this earlier on. That's fine. Old school options, here we go. So I had it set to modern now. Starting attribute points, set points. Starting attribute points can be determined by a random roll or you can start with set points determined by your character's lineage. So all characters start with the same attribute total. Yeah. So yeah, clearly in the uh, like I said, I do know some th stuff about the original. I think in the original it was random. So you kind of had to re-roll re starting characters over and over just to get a good get a good roll. So now they implemented a, uh, a, a standardized stat system. Sort of probably better for now. Point by, kind of more, yeah, well, a modern option. Just uh, getting getting points that you can put in uh, at level up either each attribute has a random chance to increase with a chance to decrease based on the character's age with point by receive one to three points at level up to distribute at level up two there needs to be a space there well it is still early access to distribute as they see fit up to level up to distribute yeah clearly Characters age teaming VIM age. Aging in the original game can happen at uh, different rates for characters depending on what happens to them. This is an odd concept, so to make this more understandable, characters aging can either be themed as age or vim. They essentially work the same way. Additionally, the costs of in rooms have have been rebalanced slightly with the vim option as well. So vim is the modern option. And age is the old options. This is an odd concept. 
But what makes Vim make more sense than H? I'll leave it at it uh, uh, as it is now. In configuration expended. Sorry to go over this. I don't know if this is very... Uh, usually I try to go into gameplay as fast as I can, but... Like I said, I'm playing for the first time. With original, the inn contains rooms for characters to stay in with varying degrees of costs and HP recovery. With expanded, the inn is an expanded camp, allowing players to do everything they can in camp, plus a new ability to rest to recover HP and spell points. Again, I think this makes more sense, uh, kind of coming from a modern point of view. Uh, temple costs are rebalanced. Level 1 characters can be resurrected for free and the temple offers additional services, such as the ability to recover lost levels from a level trade encounter. The temple remains without these new features. I'll keep it at modern. Probably not change any of this. Players can recruit pre-made characters. Character recruiting enabled. The player can recruit pre-made characters from a tavern at various levels, based on the highest attained level the player has achieved. Oh, interesting. So it's not a total grind fest that you have to start over and over every time. Because from what I understand, you can change a lot uh, to your liking about a character. So you could just rename them and maybe pick a different uh, a different um, portrait and everything. Play can recruit. Yeah, ambient map. A map of your party imminent. Immediate perceived surroundings is visible. This map can still be tricked by teleport spinners and other mage hazards. Maze hazards. Requiring jumpatic to set it right. Cast Tom Epic. Produces a graphical map. Not just text coordinates. Conversation hints. Bad stuff on party wipe. Disabled. All right. Surprise round casting. Yeah, this this option is uh, probably a good thing to have. This would be rather annoying to have this on classic. With disabled enemies and players are not able to cast spells on surprise rounds. With enabled, they can. Yeah, I kind of. I've heard that this can basically wipe a high level party uh, in one go. If if uh, if an enemy party surprises you is that the, the, oh those are all the options okay runaway in certain order action redirection um this is so when you have an attack selected and the um enemy dies from an earlier attack the one one of your party members later in the line will actually attack a new target rather than forfeit. So that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I'm oh, okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, this card changes. We didn't change anything. That's fine. Right. Resume. Can we inspect our party somewhere? Also. So yeah, the, the, that's the old school overlay which I might just turn off honestly is there a way for me to inspect my characters without using don't think so what if I use the mouse no all right visit the inn visit training grounds maybe we can have a look at our characters inspect roster there we go Piotr, who is a neutral dwarf fighter. All right. Quite strong, quite hardy. Not much else. Arvid, human fighter. Newt. <laughs> Taloon, a priest. Okay, so he's in the... We have a thief in the front row here. We have Taloon in the back row, a priest, a bishop, and a mage. Halfling, halfling, good elf, human, human, human. All right. Uh, I'm just going to go with this. So we can select them, change portrait. 
saw type. Um, let's have a look at the portraits. I'm curious. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So yeah, these are all level two. Sword order, sword type. Wait, I thought I saw an option to change portrait. I guess not. Item. Spells, no spells. Hmm. Heading back. Delete character, edit character. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can change. Name portrait class. Huh, we can straight up change a class. I think I saw someone speak about this. What would be the point of changing class? But I think you can kind of carry over some abilities from one class to another. Let's see. So we have human portraits. So I was actually wondering about this. Since this is kind of an old school um, RPG, well, very old school, I was wondering if there were attribute uh, uh, changes between male and female characters, but I guess they don't. Because it seems like you can only, you, you just pick a portrait. So that kind of determines whether you're male or female. Uh, next page. Okay, so we got, these are the humans that we have. So when I when this game was released, it had a lot of placeholder art, and I think that's done now. So there there are no placeholders. So that's better. You kind of have character faces that had little uh, like icons next to it that it was kind of a placeholder. Okay, got some nice elves here. We got bearded females. Always a thing with dwarves. Do the females have beards or not? These do. Some of them. Ooh. What a handsome gnome. <laughs> All right. And halflings. Alright. So we... We... Uh, we have two humans. We have a... Three humans, actually. We have a elf and two halflings. We don't have a gnome, do we? I don't think so. No, we have two halflings. So we don't have... Yeah, no gnomes. All right. Um, HP and level up, but we cannot level up. Seven. Let's just have a look. Select the character to open character options. Rest. Inspect. Thousand XP. No. Visited seven. Add to party, remove from party, recruit characters. Free! So level one characters are free. Ah, they cost a bit of money to get to get level two characters. A priest, a mage. Alright. Change positions, return to the courtyard. We shall return to the courtyard. We do not need to visit the temple. No one in your roster currently requires assistance. No, they do not. Trading post, buy item, sell item, remove cursed items. Ooh, there were cursed items. Identify items. So we've got to watch out with uh, putting stuff on that we find, because it might be cursed. Dagger, staff, short sword, robes, small shield, long sword. So I don't, I don't think, yeah, we are not wearing helmets. So that would be something we could. Hmm. Plus three to hit. An anointed flail. What about a long sword? Short sword, long sword. Plus four to hit, 1d8. No attack minimum. So anointed mace, plus two. Ah, I guess. These are probably good for priests, but we don't have a priest or a bishop. But yeah, someone who's in the front line that cannot use swords. Potion of Dios. Dios. Heal party member. Consumed on use. It's very expensive for one. Combat only cast. Dios. Dios. 
Badios. 25% chance of being consumed on use. Oh, interesting. Like mail, shields, couple of gloves. Ooh, very expensive. So yeah, very old school in that lower AC is better rather than higher AC. Um, well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and enter the maze. Always keep a thief in your party to inspect for traps. You have taken your first step into the maple fabled maze. It was only a short time ago that the overlord Trebor sent out a call beckoning the country's adventurers to come to this place. The story, as it was told, was that his one-time friend and advisor, Wizard Werner, had stolen the overlord's prized amulet and escaped with it into the mysterious mage, a dungeon built of magic, chaos and death. The overlord promises power and the rank of honor guard to any adventurer who recovers his amulet. And so you came, and somewhere deep within this mage's Stygian halls, the powerful wizard Werdner awaits. Yeah, so it is well known that Werdner is Andrew Backwards, because I think that is one of the original developers. Uh, close. Here we are. Okay, movement. We don't strafe, we turn, which is probably for the best. What's this? Something on the floor here. So they... I think in the patch notes... It did say that they're working on more... Um, very floor tiles. Open door. So I do believe that there are... Hidden ways hidden doors in walls an encounter all right small humanoids so someone identify them Reynolds yeah all right Toggle enemy card. What does that do? Ah, we're fighting kobolds. Class unknown, base AC unknown, HP range unknown, attacks unknown. So we need to learn about our enemies. Quick select toggle health bars. Oh, that's really good to have. Select action. So we can fight, we can parry, we can inspect, we can run. So... Our fighter will fight. Our other fighter will fight as well. Uh, the thief that does not have any particular options. I think I read somewhere that there are that there will be stuff that the thief can do. Uh, that will be ported in from uh, console versions where the thief had some more options. So. You can dispel undead, but I don't think they are undead. What kind of spells do you have? Also, how does um, spell casting work in terms of how many how many can you cast? So a blessing, a heal, a harm, and a light spell. Milwa creates a softly glowing light that follows the target and reveals secret doors. Spell lasts only a, sh a short while. Cannot be cast in combat. Nope. Uh, wrong button. Inspect enemy. So, what will you do? Maybe inspect or parry. Let's have you parry. I think Ranulf inspected, learned something the first run. So maybe we should, or we can just have you all try something. You do those. Uh, cast spells. What can you cast? Little fire, bad air, clarity. 
Reveals current location. Sleep. Fire. Strikes a monster causing one. So these are single target spells, I think. Um, let's do... Let's fight. Failed to learn. Failed. Newt kills. I got kobolds. Ah, we got hit. We could hit some more. And we could hit some more. Not too good. Uh, you will fight. You will also fight. Uh, well. Alright, you're a priest, so you can heal. Heal one person, one through eight points all right I will uh, you're doing hmm Newt is, is doing not too good as well maybe Newt first um, let's do a spell maybe a fire spell This is not a... Cannot be cast in combat. Compels most normal enemies or humanoid monsters in a group to fall asleep unless they make a successful saving throw. Most normal enemies in a group. Alright. Try to put those guys to sleep. Let's see what happens. What can you cast? Little fire batter. Oh, you're also... Wait. Uh, didn't we have? Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. So you are going to inspect good spells. Fights. Newt recovered 2 HP, but she was hit, so... Oh, Newt's dead. <laughs> oh, there we go. We already have a death in the family. Oh, they're asleep. All right. Mm. Hmm. Shall we do? We have you, Perry. Millicent. Um, so, Millicent, what actually... So you're a bishop. So a bishop can only do damaging spells? No divine spells. I'm not sure what a bishop does, then. Um... Let's do fire. Let's have you do... Wait. You're a mage. You can also do fire. Yeah. Be careful. It's possibly it's possible to trigger a trap on a chest by just expect inspecting it. We should add a thief to our party. Yeah, but the thief uh, is dead. So I think we need to ab uh, abandon the chest. Huh. should visit the Temple of Khan back in town to see if they can resurrect our fallen friend. Not a good start.
Especially since we're l uh, level 2 characters, not even level 1s. Uh, you shall fight. You shall fight. Uh, saloon. You parry. Study them. Bubbly slimes. One left. Hmm. Yeah. Twelve golden gold pieces. Let's see how much it costs to resurrect Newt. And here I was thinking we could use uh, use the starter party to make some money. Two fifty. How much to? Re uh, I think it was cheaper just to um, hire someone, wasn't it? Actually, let's. Um, we could. Uh, Create a uh, create a party member. Maybe we should do that. Um, delete character. Well, Newt, we hardly knew ye. Return to Ross to delete Newt. This action cannot be undone. Can we? Hang on. Can we rob the dead? Let's see. Um. Round, edit character, inspect roster, create character. Uh, seven. Recruit character, change position, remove from party. Nope. Character option, rest, recover, inspect items. Short to can we there we go <laughs> all right into the incinerator with you sorry nude you have been deleted um so we shall create a character um so everyone gets steady attribute points to spend, which makes a better thief, a human. Intellect, vitality, agility is at eight. Agility at nine. Elves are intelligent and pious, but not very robust. They excel at intellectual pursuits and are excellent spellcasters. Dwarves are strong and hardy. They love fine weapons and armor and delight in good fight. Delight in a good fight. Pie is an agile. Probably from praying underground during earthquakes. Due to ascetic traditions, they make excellent priests. Halflings are agile and very, very lucky. Superb thieves. Then we shall make a... Then we're very uh, halfling heavy. But then again, we uh, probably, probably people will, uh, there will be more deaths. So uh, we, we need more uh, luck, M more vitality this time around, I think. Yeah, she, a thief, neutral, uh, we need, uh, nope. Neutral. Wrong button there. So a halfling. Uh, kind of like her. Maybe we'll... Yeah. Oh, we got a name. I don't know a good name. Uh, uh, 
let's go. That's more of a. Uh, Loan was my um, was the name. Loan was added to the roster. Go to Gilgamesh Tavern. All right. Loan was the uh, thief character or rogue character that I had in. Um, uh, what was that game called? Legend of Grimrock. There we go. Right. Recruit character. Uh, what? At a party, there she is, Lowen. All right. Ooh, only five health points. So maybe we should keep her in the back. So you need to rest. Did that cost money? I don't think it did. What about? Let's go back. Like character options. What are the options? Back to May, select character. Use item, inspect character. Zero deaths, two kills, 49% vim. What is that? I have no idea. Oh, that remind me, we have to check uh, if Loan has any... They did say she would start out with gear on. Yeah. Equip, discard, give to party member. Do we actually still have the gear that uh, we took from Newt? Don't know. So our um, our map has been uh, reset. I wonder if we were to just walk around here, will we get an encounter eventually? Or is that not how wizardry works? Hmm. Maybe not. A friendly group of kobolds. They hail you and welcome. Nah. I feel bad. Maybe if we were an evil, uh, an evil group of characters. So I did actually uh, check in the. It's kind of the thing with with, with um, kind of high-profile games. I usually stay away from the Steam uh, community page because it's usually a bad place to be. But with more niche games like this, people are generally nicer about things. Um, and someone did kind of explain how you can get um, kind of mi mix and match uh, good and evil aligned characters in your party, which you shouldn't be able or you cannot do from the outset. You cannot make a party that has, you cannot um, um, put good characters, you could create any character you want, but if you were to form a party and then try to put a good aligned character together with a bad, with, a, with an evil aligned character, they... Uh, it just doesn't work. They, they cannot be in the same party together. But if you go into the maze with a certain party that is, let's say, consisting of three evil characters and you leave them in the maze somehow, which I'm actually not sure how you're supposed to do that, but then go in with three good aligned party members and then uh, you can just meet up with that group somehow and... Um, that way you can have a party setup that should be impossible in theory. But anyway, I am not that far along when it comes to using tactics. Right now we will fight. So I don't know. So these run dead. Let's try to dispel undead. Uh, you will. Uh, 
uh, shoot him. So I don't want to get killed again, so maybe we should just use spells as much as we can. Um, yeah, and you are gonna parry. Previous character. Toggle enemy cards. There we go. Yeah, still a lot of stuff unknown about them. So I should probably try to inspect some more. Let's have you do another spell though. And let's have you do parry. Because I don't want to get you killed. I'm kind of curious how much how much she'll level up. Um, how much HP she'll gain. times we can just cast spells. Oh, I think Millicent is out of spell slots. She cannot cast anything. Night again, Ranulf. Hang on. There we go. Well. Okay, so XP is kind of shared. Uh, open party options. Remove from party. Ah, that's probably how. Uh, return to town. Okay. Mm. So we, you could just leave a corpse down here, I guess. any items to use hmm maybe so I deleted Newt but I guess um, that stuff was still in her inventory we don't have a um, I guess we don't have a, a shared inventory right so how do we How do we know how many spells you got? Spell points. Uh, ah, you got two spell points. Switch characters with alt. Zero, zero. Not to speak of anyway. So, right, now I know how that works. Two spells. Okay. Attempting more fights. Oh, hang on a minute. I wanted to check on Lowen's HP. How much does she need? 900 XP. So quite a quite a few more fights. <laughs> I do like a little portrait there. I think she looks nice. Yeah, clearly, even with um, with the old school options in place, or with the uh, modern options in place, the game does not um, mess, mess about. It doesn't hold any punches. 
Check. Check. Um. Heal. Um, yep, still very much unknown. Well, no one be any good at inspecting characters, I don't know. Failed. Okay. So you could look back, uh, scroll back into the. I'm gonna see what's going on. Because it goes by a tad too fast to kind of get a hint of what's going on. Yeah, fail to learn, fail to learn. Fail to learn anything new. Curious what what kind of makes someone better or worse at learning stuff. You think intelligence. Let's have you, Perry. I don't think enemies can just attack the back row. learned something new about bubbly slime. Ah. So now we should be able... Uh, certainty of a stunner. Ah. Let's try. Failed. Receives armor. Let's have a look. Armor has not been identified. So yeah, it might be cursed. Would there be cursed items just on the first floor already? I'm not going to risk it. We could just head back with our... Uh, so I do believe that... Um, this game now, since the latest update, it does sort of allow safe states, which isn't really... You can just... So when we started out, we made a... Um, we, we named our adventure. And you can just go into that screen and copy uh, your scenario, basically, your, uh, your characters. So you could make kind of a rule to maybe once in a while make a copy for yourself. I think people were already doing that before the patch, but you kind of had to uh, just go in and copy the files yourselves. Ooh, so what did we learn about slimes? So 2d2. So bubbly slimes will never come in groups of bigger than four? They give you 55 XP, they're a beast. So we still don't know resistances, extra action, special traps. So it, it would pay to learn even more. And this enemy is is numbered 000. So I'm guessing this is kind of the, <laughs> the lowest of the low when it comes to enemies. Uh, yep, fight. Uh... It's kind of a shame to have to loon, to only have two people fighting. Taloon has quite a bit of health though. Let's have it. all you people inspect. New insight. Eighteen XP. There we go. We got the big bucks. Sixteen gold pieces, though. That's not too bad. It's something. It's always the thing, right? How? Where? Where do they keep the gold? Well, with with the slime, I guess they kind of just were, were oozing along, having with some uh, uh, gold pieces in their uh, 
slimy innards. It's always weird when like a, a group of wolves tends to have um, gold in, in RPGs. Well, well. Or, or like a, uh, a magical dagger or something. Uh, fights. Mm. Yeah, let's fight. What did, what did we learn actually? So they're resistant against turn on dead and sleep. Yeah. I don't think bubbly slimes need sleep. So there's still more to learn. pieces how are we doing on low and six speed yeah still nowhere near leveling let's go ahead and uh, inspect that armor that we found I'm curious uh, we needed to do that at the store yeah a hundred well we got some money to burn may as well Boltak thanks you for your business. Armor has been identified. To what? It's a breastplate. Okay. Um, change filter. Select item. Reverse sword. Switch character. So where do we go to? Um, Training ground. Oof, I don't know if that is the, the that is such a good font. There in the left uh, upper corner to read what, what it does. Maybe not the most comfortable font to read. So where do I go to um, change my gear? Maybe, yeah. There we go. All right. Um. Minus three, minus four. There we go. It's an improvement. So yeah, we do actually have to give this to... Uh, what about your armor? Let's see. Uh, switch body members. You are... You already had chainmail. All right. What are, what are we all wearing? You've got leather armor, uh, robes, and leather armor. Oh, wrong button. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, so... Aha. So that is something interesting about the bishop. Um, a bishop is allowed to wear armor and use a mace. Whereas a mage is not, clearly. So apart from a weapon, torso armor, shield, uh, we can also uh, wear helmets, gauntlets, and either, either that is a ring or a belt. Interesting. All right. Uh, we should probably, uh, can we party rest? All hit points and spell points are okay. So that did not cost any money, did it? All right. But did that change anything when it comes to Vim? I don't know. I'm not really sure what that percentile means. All right. Um, well, I think that's a uh, a, a good uh, place to end it for a first look. A lot of systems going on that I uh, I'm not too comfortable with, but it's it's interesting. Uh, yeah, 
but yeah still in early access so a lot of a lot of stuff will be added in a bit more um, um, uh, stuff when it comes to uh, text um, textures and graphics and whatnot and um, options from um, I mentioned it earlier console versions and whatnot so that's kind of what, what they're working on it's still only 0.3 right now so still still long long ways to go until 1.0 something but uh, yeah anyway thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you some other time but for now farewell <laughs>